Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Ladies and gents, got a fantastic shave set up here today. Love and the scent off this puck. You know what we're talking about. This is another beauty just in from Ariana and Evans, Moroccan fig. Um, very, very nice, beautiful. It's the Pedro Fiasco um, blend. So uh, see right across the top here, five ounces. We'll do the deep dive into all of this uh, deliciousness in just a moment, but this is what we're operating with today. You know, we like to do here, uh, I do a one passer. I'm gonna start the goatee back again. So one pass on the sides, out the door, shamalema, ding dong, we go. Uh, cool tools today set up for this shave. So one, let's get to the razor. <clears throat> I've only used this guy once and uh, I'm so happy to crack it out again today. This is the 1970 TTO Knack. This one is made in Mexico. This is a rare breed. This guy is hard to find. So truly, truly happy to have it in the lineup. And inside this little peach, no, it is not a Balzano today, folks. It is a med prep persona. So I uh, love these. They're fantastic. Prime to go today. And uh, there she resides. So beautiful. I love the way that this one operates. So just a little grab up here on the top of the handle and uh, spin as you do. And that's basically the torquing down. Uh, beautiful lockup on here and uh, fantastic. This is another beauty from Razor Emporium. So uh, absolutely love it. So this guy on tap for today. The brush we have. This is my second brush from Tans and uh, turning by Tans that would be. So you can see here, and uh, I was extremely fortunate to win this one. This was uh, a, a wonderful uh, thing that uh, TRC, the razor company, and the Shave Migos were doing. Uh, they were doing a bunch of donations and then donating all those proceeds to a uh, military organization for, I believe it was brain trauma. And uh, anytime anything like that's going down, I I'm in, I'm donating. Uh, love to do that type of stuff. So. This was one of the prizes, and uh, again, very fortunate to win this guy. Beautiful red. Look at that gorgeous color. So just a nice flat red. Um, beautiful. This is the G5C, and this is synthetic. Um, not a huge synthetic guy, as you guys know. And gals, if you watch this channel, I have only one other, uh, and that would be the Extra Cosmacy Tricolor. Uh, so this is going to be a very unique experience for me, so to say. I mean, it, obviously work with synthetics. Uh, I'm just more of a silver uh, tip badger guy, but no big deal. I'm gonna run this guy. I hear great things about this knot and uh, I love what Tans does. So uh, I think I'm in for a super treat with that guy. Down below, heating up in the water. Just had the brush soaking in it, the Van Ule. And, uh, and I just loved how all these colors are playing off each other. Um, as you can see here, I know it's just kind of a geek thing to do, but I like to kind of get matchy matchy with the, with the stuff. Just kind of makes it interesting. Okay. Out the way with that jazz <clears throat> to the soap of the day. When I saw this was dropping, I was like, oh man, I'm like Moroccan fig. I'm like, come on, bring it on. I have been on a gourmand train lately. It's been fantastic. So um, after coming off of so many citrusy type things, and which have all been beautiful, uh, it's I love the gourmand. So it's been a, it's been just awesome. I just one after the other been banging them out. Uh, Moroccan fig, what a gorgeous scent coming off this thing. So absolutely beautiful. Um, here's your label. I love the Pedro Fiasco blend. It, it really, I, I I gotta say it's my favorite. Um, I just it really is a beautiful texture. Look at that pour. So beautiful texture. It's, oh, look, it's like a, so creamy. It's just fantastic. I mean, just and boom. Uh, so, oh, good Lord, sweet mama. That is just, that's a lot of beautiful bits of heaven coming at you. Oh, it's so well done. A&E &E does such fantastic job with their products. So uh, the Pedro Fiasco, that, that, that blend just kind of works for me. I love the creamy soap uh, and I just love the way it lathers up. Um, I wouldn't call it in, in all of simplicity because it's, it's a beautiful blend, but um, the fact of the matter that you're getting this particular product for $11.96 in the VIP program, five ounces of amazing shaved soap, uh, just baffles me. So uh, I, every time I just say kudos to A&E for doing that because it, it's just absolutely fantastic. 
in this tub of deliciousness, we've got shea butter, castor oil, glycerin, beer, sunflower seed oil, beef tallow, palm oil, coconut oil, jojoba oil, and then manteca butter. Um, beautiful, beautiful lineup, fantastic, $11.96. So, uh, love the scents coming off here. It is truly fig forward, um, so you get a real beautiful fig. Oh, and I just absolutely love it. But there's also, um, there's a nice wood aspect to it. So there's definitely a sandal or cedar wood playing around in there. And then just a nice bit of incense just kind of crackling around the corner. Beautiful. It's a really very nice. Oh, it just gives you a nice little figgy, spicy, woody. Oh, it's so nice. It, it really makes you feel Moroccan, man. It's, uh, it's, it's Moroccan, my brain. So let's get some of this in this bowl. Let's get it to the face. I love what we got going on here. Uh, beautiful setup for that price and for those ingredients. I am 20 minutes out of the shower, three days of growth, and a partridge in a pear tree. Let me get some water on the face and let's hit it. Ditch the glasses. You've got all the pertinent info. Ah, ooh, la, la. All right. This guy, these, the Fiasco line, and I have several of them, um, they lather up really nice, but this is just, this is the part that just kind of really bakes my noodle. Look at how creamy that is. That's fantastic. I just absolutely love it, man. It's uh, it's just a nice dollop of heaven in here. Uh, this bowl eats it up. So the honeycomb just grabs it. So let's get some of this in here. And uh, as you guys know, gals, if you watch this channel, I'm not stingy on my soap, man. I'm, I'm putting some in the bowl and I'm having a good time. So I'm not weighing anything out. Some manufacturers like use, you know, two ounces of a dollar or uh, an almond size. Not this guy. Nope, nope, nope. All right. Shim sham on the flim flam. Residual into the brush. See how this G5C does. Take it to the G5 Summit. All right. Let's get the lathering. I know just to show you. There you go. So you can see what I got in there. Didn't go crazy, but nice, nice smattering. Oh, man. You know, Peter's a madman with this stuff. So, so good at what he does. And the other lines, the other bases, I should say, appropriate term, uh, are very, very nice. So uh, they're wonderful. And, and you know, to each his own, you, you pick your jam and move on. Um, but uh, just that fiasco line, man, I love it with the beer and just all of the, the butter and all those oils. It just cranks up and it just provides just a beautiful profile. And uh, it just floats my boat. Let's see how this brush does. I am not familiar with it, so I'm going to learn the aspects of this little G5C here as we move along. But it seems to be doing a wonderful job thus far. So just there you go. I'll give you that's what we got going for the first few minutes here. I'm going to get a little bit more water. Unfamiliar territory, whether this is a thirsty knot or not. Not not. All right, that looks quite lovely. Let me give it a little shamalama. But beautiful, creamy texture already on this soap. I mean, it's, you know, absolutely fantastic. So let's get this going. I'm going to take this to the face and we'll work the rest from there. Oh, that's quite lovely. That's a very soft feeling. That's a very good backbone to it, that's for sure. The scent is absolutely, oh, well, yeah, this, uh, well, this not, does pretty darn good. It's very, very gum. It's got a very stiff backbone. That's for sure. Not that it's scratchy or eating some figs. Not that it's scratchy in any sense because it truly is very comfortable. Um, but, uh, but it's definitely got a stiff backbone, at least to me. Look at this lather. So here we go, <laughs> a little 
<laughs> we'll jump ship. Oh man, oh man, it's a it's a flying. So this is what I'm talking about when I talk about this base. So just look at how that's working up here. Look at all this. In just a just short time of churning this out. And look at the look at how creamy and delicious, <laughs> creamy and wonderful this base gets. There you go. There's that gorgeous spackling on. Just look at the, it's got wonderful consistency to it and just a nice depth. And boy, does she glide. It gives a great cushion. This base really, every time I use uh, the Pedro Fiascos, that base provides such a wonderful shave. Uh, let me just get this off my shirt. That, uh, that brush was slinging. So, yeah, no big deal. Pardon moi. So, uh, it really was just, uh, it was really cranking, but let me, uh, let me show you what we got here. Give you a little preview. Look at that beautiful texture. I mean, oh, mamma mia, look at that. Come on, what? Look at it just, just drooping. Whoop. Uh, so absolutely fantastic, uh, fun with soap today. Uh, beautiful glide. The scent profile is really jamming. As I'm describing this, this base to you, which, uh, many of you may already be familiar with, uh, the, the soap is just fantastic. It is really, it's a beautiful fig scent. That fig is done very, very well. And I love the incense is, um, it's subtle. So it's not like it's going to be incense where you're like, oh, good Lord. No, no, no. It's a very subtle incense, but it plays. It was a very good move to use that. That with the, with the different types of woods. I believe it's a sandalwood and a cedarwood. There's another one in there as well. But my gosh, it's a beautiful, beautiful scent profile. The glide, the depth, the creaminess, and the texture of the lather is absolutely fantastic. Uh, so no two ways about that. There she is in all the glory. Uh, I, I really, you know, I wish you could be feeling this right now. It is fantastic. It's a wonderful, wonderful lather. Uh, one of my favorites. Okay. Favorite in their lineup. Let's get to it. I, like I said, I've only used this guy, this knack, made in Mexico, phew, one time before. So all locked up. Let me get a little heated up. And let oh, Beautiful, gorgeous scent. But again, with the A&E line, you'd be hard pressed to find one that really didn't, you know, deliver what it was asking to. So if it says Moroccan fig, you better believe, you know, you're going to be uh, Moroccan some fig. So that's just how they do. Oh, this razor and that blade. I love that. Med prep is very good. Um, very nice residual slickness. So just what you need to get done nice and creamy so so no issues there again just kind of your standard residual but gorgeous and you can see i'm going right back to where i need to be and just do a little cleanup no issues whatsoever i'm going to mine the goatee bring that little bring that bad boy back but these uh these personas man they're no joke Oh, that's so good. What a nice scent. I mean, it's a really beautiful scent. If you, if you like what I laid down for you, you know, you like the woodsy with a little bit of incense and a fig forward, oh, you're going to be in heaven. Well done. Very well done. This guy, this TTO, this, this knack is twisted open. Is that the, the acronym for that in case anybody doesn't know? Uh, this Gillette knack is, uh, is really awesome. It really is. Oh, wonderful. Very nice slickness there. So very nice and creamy. So no, no qualms there at all. Wonderful feedback. Don't know if you're getting into that, but trust me, it's wonderful. And uh, wow, what a mm, what a beautiful smell! Like I said, I've just been crushing it lately with these um, with these these gourmands, man. Whew. Wonderful. 
I mean, look, August 1st is today. So, you know, we're rolling into fall time real quick. I just tighten up this goatee a bit. Yeah, the Persona Med Prep um, and, and this particular, this knack, this 1979, you do feel some of the blade, which doesn't bother me because um, it's nothing where it feels intrusive or, you know, uh, or it's going to throw you off. Um, it's, it's very subtle, but you feel it. So uh, if that is something that you don't like, be mindful if you grab a knack, or at least from my experience. Okay. Let's see how we're doing. Any cleanups? Just a bit in the usual, the usual suspects down yonder. Wonderful. Oh, that's wonderful. I hope everybody's been enjoying the shave. Such great product that's coming out lately. Uh, this one is really fantastic. Um, the scent has been very, very nice throughout. It is a medium scent, um, so it's not overpowering, but it's absolutely delicious, and it's just a sublime experience. It's very, very wonderful shave. It's a, it's, it really does take you, you know, you, you really feel like you're, you're someplace else uh, shaving with this. It, it kind of gives you a Moroccan feel, which is very cool. I, I really like that. Fantastic job on this product. Absolutely beautiful lather. Beautiful shape. Let me clean up. All right, all right. Let's get to the soap pole. Oh, that really did a wonderful job. That razor and that blade. Oh, oh and you literally... Still a wonderful creamy feel left behind, which is so nice. I really, I really dig that. Um, wonderful base. Absolutely wonderful base. All right, jibbed and jab that one. Uh, let's get to this. Look at this little red devil. Oh, see that pop out of there. <laughs> Look at this. Is that wonderful creamy so great depth like i said um you know very very nice cushion through the whole shape and after i've got a nice creamy feel left behind and this is why this is beautiful so um the base uh, i'm very familiar with it so i, I knew we were going to get something good like this at least i was hoping uh that nothing had changed and it has not it's still as wonderful uh as from the beginning so Love the Pedro Fiasco, fantastico all the way around, beautiful scent profile, and I have to reiterate, $11.96. Uh, that's on the VIP, oh, hold on, I'm sorry. Run the soap on you, I'm water. Uh, so $11.96, five ounces on the VIP program. If you're not in on that one, man, I, I would do it. I think it's 10 bucks for six months. I jumped right in on it, I'm, and I re-upped. Uh, so for $12, that's a fantastic product. Beautiful scent. Well done all across the board. Wonderful shape. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. Ladies, gents, have a wonderful day. One and done, done and dusted. Catch you on the next one.